With the weights so close at the VMC round of the 13 Fishing Bass Pro Series at Cania Dam on the weekend, it was always a chance for someone sneaking up to steal the win. Matt Langford and Callum Munro both did that and finished in the top two places. John Noble here came third and he was one of the guys that managed to retain their place in the top ten. And he did it by catching a quick limit first thing in the morning. John's non-boater was Neil Satura and he got into the action as well, finishing third. Chinchilla's Mick Johnson was one of the anglers that managed to catch a very similar bag on both days, both around three and a half kilos, earning him some great cash. And a great net shot here by Aidan Bickle, rod reel and everything complete with bass in the net.
Mark Lennox didn't travel too far from the start to lead this event on day one, but he lacked the fish he needed on day two to keep that top position. Still, he ended up in the money with the final $500 check. And Northern New South Wales' Greg Burke couldn't have imagined a better start to the day with two fish eating his Bassman jig on this steep bank. One of them was the VMC Big Bass. And Greg's non-boater Marco Grubb had a great time at his first ABT Bass event with a top 10 finish. First one of the day on a Bassman jig, which just falls out. Look at that, barely had it. Drops out? Yeah, they do. Oh, oh there's the jig, and there's the fishy. Okay. <laughs> That's oh, insane. What an awesome start. All right, look at that. Bassman jig again. Show That's the camera. That's color 11, which he will be making. Oh, oh he, all he did was put weight on it. He didn't bite it. Yep. He just put weight on it. Oh, that's, that's the way he goes. Big bass. We'll just do a camera shot. Look at that one, number two. <laughs> that is awesome. Wow. All right. Like a pill now, isn't it? Like yep. just, just burn a dick. Yep. And then he decided just to put a little bit of weight on it. Rapala's Tim Morgan was another one of the leaders that failed to bag a limit on day two. Here's Tim and Phil Lyons catching a few. Keegan Painter got off to a great start. Well, he did after this false start. He was fishing with Aussie Seth Fighter, aka Mitchell Petty. Yep. Yep. Where's your net, bud? Just behind the seats there. Right. 
Oh, mate. Is that a yellow? It's silver. It's a silver, you dirty dog. Oh, I thought that was a big bass. Not a big bass. Tell you what, they looked about two or three good shadows. Just on, coming through. On the sign imaging, up on that flat between those two trees. Start. Start. He's chugging. I thought he was chugging like a good fish then. That's just because you don't want to hold the face, eh? Number two. And for years now, we've tried to keep Bass Cats Craig Simmons on the learning curve. Simo, get your head in shot and show us the fish afterwards. Let's see how he does. There he goes with the net and nothing. Thanks, Simo. Good finish. Ray Holmes and Rod Thorpe went out to try and catch a limit on day two, but only managed a couple of decent fish. And here's a move you don't see every day. Another boat driving past. Just pretend nothing's happening here down the back of the boat. And yep, they're going. And okay, you can have a look at our fish now. Check out this one, caught on a jig. It's getting pretty tight at the top of the Bass Pro Angler of the Year table at the moment. And Mike Nelson, after a slow first day, did his chances no harm at all by boxing a nice limit of fish on day two. And he did it late in the session.
be the upgrade. Oh, yeah, I think so. Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> Got a little bit of weight to him. Yeah, a bit better than the other one. Yeah, right. <laughs> a bit of weight for this one. Not bad. Down hooks for fuck's sake. Alright. These big ones are over there. <laughs> Mark Parry had a great day one and a disappointing day two, but he caught his fish both on a rod and on camera. And as always, you can check out full coverage from this event at Cania Dam on ABT's website, which is www.abt.org.au.